Hello guys and welcome back to more Addicted on the Force Nines YouTube channel. This is my Charlton save on Football Manager 2015. Today's game, we're away against Huddersfield in uh, the Championship. And uh, off screen, let's just have a look at our games. Uh, our last live commentary uh, was an embarrassing 1-0 home defeat against uh, newly promoted Oldham. Um, not a great one there. Uh, off screen, uh, we're now into 2017. It's January. It's a January transfer window. And I've made a couple of uh, signings. One was a uh, free agent and one was a loan signing from Standard Liège. But first of all, let's go through the five games I played off screen. We didn't lose any of them, which was good. And we're through to the fourth round of the FA Cup because we had a pretty favourable draw there. Uh, so the first game I played off screen was an away game against Fulham, which we won 2-1. Um, this was a pretty mad match. There were two saved penalties, uh, one by each goalkeeper Johnny Je oh well, first one was uh, Sean Williams uh, getting a penalty saved from uh, Stephen Henderson it was uh, I believe Wiggins who conceded it but I'm not quite sure but uh, yeah uh, that was saved uh, Fulham did take the lead through uh, George Williams I don't know if he's a relation or not um, but they did take the lead through him in the 40th minute uh, we came back uh, well a minute later or Two goals in two minutes. New signing Sergio Ayala on his debut got a goal. Um, so that was a really good one. Just have a quick look at this. Uh, Ayala's first appearance for Charlton. He's been on the bench a few times, but he's never actually come on. And I started him in the uh, in this game because uh, I think we had a I can't remember if we had a suspension or not. I can't remember. But yeah, Ayala with a goal. Um, so really good. Yeah. I don't know why we actually played him in defence. Did we have someone suspended or something? I think we, I think Morrison was suspended or something, and they didn't want to play Gomez for some reason. Uh, yeah, we won two one. So um, there was actually a, a save penalty by uh, Johnny Jackson, saved by their goalkeeper Jesse Jorinen. Seventieth minute, and then seven minutes later, Chuli with a goal. His first goal in a while, I think, for uh, for Chuli, and he's got a couple actually in three games. That that Fulham goal was his first league goal. Since uh, October against Brentford, so I'm pleased he's back too at scoring ways. So yeah, uh, it was a yeah, it was a massive game. There's a lot of stuff happened. We had four yellow cards though, which was a bit of a shame. And a good Munson took a bit of a knock, and we had to bring him off for uh, Callum Harriet. But luckily, it was no actual lasting effects, no injury. Uh, next game, one-one draw at home against Nottingham Forest. Pretty level actually. We dominated possession wise, but um, same similar amount of uh, shots, and we only just won actually. Forrest took the lead at three minutes uh, after the restart through Asambolonga, who's got a few goals for them, I believe. How many league goals does he have? 17 league goals and we're in January. So Asambolonga, you know, he's definitely got potential on this game if you want him for your team because we're in 2017 and he's scoring goals for fun. Um, yeah, we, we didn't do too good actually here. Vettikele had a very poor game. Forestieri had a poor game. So uh, this is a bit annoying. Uh, in the end, it was the substitute, Frank Musa, uh, four minutes after coming on, scored in the 90th minute. So uh, that was a really good one for uh, for the Belgian. Uh, and a 1-1 drawing against Forrest. Lucky, really. Uh, next game, we beat Wolverhampton Wanderers 2-0. A uh, bit of revenge for their um, defeat on us on the first game of the season. Uh, two goals in the first 25 minutes. Michael Morrison with his uh, first goal of the season. He got quite a few in his... Uh, in our first season of the say three league goals. That was his first goal this season. Um, been doing pretty well as a defender, actually, is Morrison. Seems a decent player. Uh, and then 10 minutes later, Chuli got his uh, second goal in three games. So a 2-0 win there. Wolves had a man sent off in the last 10 minutes. George Savile with his uh, second yellow card on the 83rd minute. Um, not a bad performance here. Defended very well. Morrison ran in the match with his goal. But um, all our defenders did well, actually. Um, Henderson actually had four shots on target, but he didn't actually have that many important saves to make. So, I was happy with that. Uh, next game was a 1-0 win against Ipswich. Uh, took it down with the only goal of the game here, 34 minutes in. Ipswich with an injury at the end of the first half, had to make a forced change. Um, not a bad performance here, we did okay. Uh, Gomez with the man of the match actually had an excellent performance. So, um, yeah, I was p pleased with this one, 1-0 win. Um, it switched with a lot more shots, but they missed quite a lot, uh, and hence their uh, forwards like Brew and Townsend and Aruti, not good ratings for them. And then our last game we played, FA Cup third round was against League Two Oxford. Only just one. Forestieri with the only goal of the game, 64th minute. Um, bit nervy, really. Uh, Oxford only with nine shots, but you know we just 
we couldn't really finish him off in the end. We only got a 1-0 win. And the Vettikele was another poor game. So, I've got to say what I want to do with him. His last five games haven't been very good. So, um, I'm actually going to warn him for recent form. Saying, um, you haven't scored me recently. I'll do that right now. There we go. Fourth round, we drew Coventry. Who are League 1 now, I believe. Are they? They're League 1 and they're 14th. So, they're mid-table League 1 side in 2017. Uh, we're facing them in the fourth round, but today we're facing uh, Huddersfield. Uh, Going to go through a couple of other things. Transfers, first of all. Um, don't think I've made any actual sales. No, just a lot of loan deals. So, uh, as I said, so Ayala was a free transfer in uh, October. Uh, in the January window, we got Marco Sangali on a free transfer. He's a well, he's an attacking midfielder. He's a very he can play sort of anywhere. Uh, in attacking midfield really but he's best on the right which is where we want him really I want kind of a backup to Chewley in case he gets injured because uh, there's been a few games where he's been tired and we don't really have a uh, first choice right side of midfielder we've been putting good months in there as you know a makeshift right midfielder but um, he hasn't been doing great there hasn't had a very good time of it as good uh, he can play as a right back as well if we need him there which is another good thing because Vermeil doesn't really have any backup so, yeah, very versatile defender is Sangali. Only 24 as well. Physicals are very, very leveled out. Uh, not great, but, um, you know, he's got a good work rate. It's good. He's great off the ball. And he's, he's a team player as well, which is good to see. So that was well, not a bad one, I don't think. Not bad for a free transfer. And our other signing was uh, Denny Milosevic on loan from Standard Liège. Uh, he's a player who can play in the hole. He can also play as a striker. And again, he's not too bad out wide. So this looks like a good, good one. Physicals are great. No, he's fit, he's pacey. Uh, mentals, no flares, great. And he's a good dribbler as well. Can run with the ball, technique, first touch. Looks like a decent player and only 21. He can only get better. So uh, he's not really fit though, so we can't really play him just yet. Um, I'm going to give him a few games in our reserves and then unleash him on the first team, really. Uh, that's it. Load of, loads and loads of players have gone out on loan. A lot of extensions these, though. So Damien Blackburn's, for example, is a player that's had a lot of loan extensions. So it looks like a lot of loan deals, but as, as I said, a lot of them are extensions. So it doesn't look as bad as it is. Um, so, yeah, we've beaten Huddersfield every time so far. Five wins against uh, against these guys. So hopefully today it will be a sixth. Um, we're slightly overspending on wages, but, you know, that's not that bad. £874 a week isn't isn't a, lo a lot, really. And if, I'm hoping we can get promoted because uh, we can start pay paying these players a lot more. Because there's a lot of people's contracts which are expiring at the end of the season. I think I've dealt with most of them, but a lot of them now are asking for about ten grand a week. For example, Chuli wanted eleven grand a week. I think I got him for I think I got him at about eight and a half in the end. But as players are asking for more money, and sometimes we can't give it to them just because our wages are pretty much all spent anyway. So I'm hoping we can get the promotion and you know get get some more wages. That huge war chest that comes with a promotion to the Premier League, well, it, the playoffs as well. But automatic promotion is good because our playoff, uh, our uh, running the playoffs hasn't been good. Semi-finals both times and some huge losses, big losses. Right, let's, let's go to today's game then. So Brentford won four 0 at Orient in the uh, the early game. Orient in the relegation zone. We're against Huddersfield, who are in eighth. We're in second place. Let's just quickly look at the table. And see how we're doing with regards to our to uh, the championship. So let's just have a look at this. Here we go. So we're four points behind Norwich. Um, it's just well, we've had a couple of draws in the games that they've won. Uh, we're three points ahead of Nottingham Forest. We're six ahead of Burnley. Seven ahead of Peterborough, and eight ahead of Ipswich. And we're ten ahead of Stoke, who are in the playoffs. So um, we're not looking too bad. Thirteen games left. 10 points clear in the playoff places is okay, but I want automatic promotion this season. That's what we're aiming for. And I had another job interview um, invitation kind of thing as well, which was from... It was from Watford, actually. It was uh, West Brom last time round, but uh, this one was from Watford, who were in 10th place. But I want to stay with Charlton and try and get them promotion and see out this save, this three-year plan. So let's go too much preview and let's pick today's team. So... Don't think we really need to change anything. This team's been doing very well. I do want um, Henderson in goal though. Because uh, Nardi's my cup keeper. So Henderson in goal. Uh, let's just do a quick pick actually and see what it gives us. So let's put Gomez in defence. Ayala and Gomez. Yeah, why the hell not? 
Fox is Fox doing okay? He's just come back from injury, I think, so he's not really match fit. Um, I think I'll keep it at this. Uh, Foresty area I want as a false nine. Um, yeah. So basically, if it doesn't score in this game, I'll drop him for the next game. It's a cup game anyway, so we can rest some players with that. Don't think we really need to make another change. San oh yeah, I signed the Sangali guy, and then I didn't see that he's out for about two months with a broken foot. I, I don't know how I missed that. Yeah. I'm a moron. Right, uh, let's look at the bench quickly. So we've got this Milosevic guy. I'm not going to play Church. Church, I've got him uh, not needed. I've got him transfer listed. Um, he's going to be released at the end of the season if he doesn't find a club. So, um, yeah, Church is going to be leaving. Because he, he, he hasn't been good enough in the three years that we've had him. So he's going to be leaving. Um, I do want to put Morrison. Do we need Onyehu and Morrison, though, really? We'll put Morrison on the bench. He has, he's been doing better. I'm going to leave uh, Nardi off the bench. And we'll have Fox as a left-back option if we need him. Uh, and we, yeah, we'll pick that. That's the one. Uh, we need to give someone a squad number. That's Milosevic, isn't it? Right, what number do you want? Let's give you... Let's give you number 19. Doesn't really matter, but we'll give him number 19. Huddersfield are missing Don Cowie and Martin Craney. What a shame for them. Right, let's see if we can win here. Uh, Norwich are facing Millwall away, so if they drop points, then we could we could close the gap on them. But I'm not sure. Millwall they've beaten us, but you know they're not a terrible team. They're not a good team either, really. Right, team talk. Uh, we are on a good run, so let's say that. And then we'll do this. What we always do every game now seems to work really well. Gives us a positive team talk. There we go. Players looking delighted, and let's kick off. Here we go. Huddersfield kick off. Uh, here is Smith to Hamill. Um, well, there you go. Highlight over already from the start. Um, we're about 10 minutes in now. Well, a shot each. Well, now Huddersfield before. Could we please have a highlight soon? Please. Here we go. Jackson with a free kick. Um, comes to uh, Pearson. who uh, well, He hasn't cleared it away yet, but there it is. He finds Naki Wells. Well... I don't know what Cousins was doing there. He could have gotten the end of that, but he didn't. Here's Ward. And Hamill had an open goal there, and they're 1 0 up, Huddersfield. What happened there? Adam Hamill, a former Liverpool guy with a goal. Don't think he ever played for Liverpool, though. I think he's very much uh, a player that sat on the fringes for a long time. Right, let's just see. Did he actually play any games for Liverpool? I don't think he did. No. He was only there for one season, though. No, it wasn't. He was there for four years. He got loaned to uh, Dunfermline and to uh, Southampton, Blackpool and Barnsley and then eventually signed for Barnsley. So yeah, he never played a minute for Liverpool. At least not in the league. 25 minutes in. We're now 1-0 down, which isn't very good. Um, don't do that. So, yeah, it's probably because we're on attacking. Strike control. Naki Wells still with a ball. And he's got a shot away and it was saved by Henderson. We've had possession, has been dominant in possession, but just no goal. Let's try and slow it down a bit. Here's Butterfield to Ward. Vermeil with the... Oh! Vermeil got the ball, and then it came to... Uh, I think it was Eagles who hit the post. That was a poor corner, but Vermeil... Oh, wow! What a goal that was! Malik Vermeil's first goal of the season. Well he, well, he scored against Oldham, but for some reason it was disallowed for pushing. I still can't believe that happened. That was absolute bull bullshit. Jackson, there was a poor corner, really. Butterfield with a header away, but Vermeil, it fell perfectly for him, and that was a lovely finish just outside the area. Excellent goal. Um, All we need is one goal. Yeah, why the hell not? Uh, you weren't that bad. Ventecale hasn't scored again, and he's on a 6.3. That's annoying. Right. Second half. We kick off. Vitakele with the ball to Ayala. Wiggins to Gunmanson. Well, I need him to get a score and again get Munson. He's been injured for a while, but I need him to get back to back to his best. Johnny Jackson. Cousins to Goodmanson. I'm being told to put Jackson to not needed for the team because he, he isn't very good. But he's our captain and he's a fan favourite. So I want to keep him. I, I don't know if I want to keep him until he retires and, or until his contract expires, but I'm not sure. Right, Ventikele is coming off. He's starting to wind me up now. 6.2. He's coming off for Tukidian, and he's being dropped for the cup game. Because, uh, yeah, he's annoying me now. Is that Iger? 
He, he seems to do this a lot. He has some, he just has a run of games where he doesn't, doesn't score. Um, Danny Ward's been injured, so uh, Huddersfield forced into a change. Still one apiece. Um, Jackson is now looking exhausted, so let's bring on Frank Musa in his place. And uh, do we want to make that last change yet? Good Munson's not doing great. Neither is Vermeil. Yeah, let's. Uh, we'll bring on Harriet for Good Munson, and we'll just try and end this game off. We just need one more, one more goal really, just to make it two one. Here's Chuli with the ball now, moving into the middle. Took it down with the ball. Jackson to Chuli, Forestieri took it down. Oh, just wide, just wide. Um. We played a lot better since we moved things around. Since we changed the um, the approach a bit, changed the tactic, but we still need another goal. We're 88 minutes in, and we need one more goal. We could get it here. Frank Musa, Forestieri loses out. Butterfield to Naki Wells. Now don't let them score. Come on, Gerard, Pearson, Hamill. Ball is one back. Harriet to Musa, Cousins to Wiggins. Come on, Royce. Harriet. Musa. He's got space to go into. Shoot. Oh, my God. That was it. We should have won this game again. That was the lot. That was the chance. And we didn't take it. Oh, come on, Fernando. No. Of course not. Musa again. Come on. That was, was that the clear-cut chance? I'm not sure. Truly. Nope. Well, that, that, no. That's it now. Another draw. So that's the first time we failed to beat Huddersfield in the save. It's 1-1. Um, they weren't unlucky. They were rubbish. Yeah, well, yeah, look to switch off. Vermeil man of the match for his goal. Uh, unlucky, but good effort. Unlucky, but good effort. Right, where's Igor Vetekele? Where are you? There you are. Poor. Not happy with your performance today. Just him. Oh, the, the only one I was unhappy with. Because he, he's been terrible again. Dominated in possession. 16 shots. They had 17. Huddersfield. But dominated that possession. We really should have won that. And we had the chances to as well. Took it and sent it wide. And so did Musa at one time as well. So I'm annoyed with that. That's annoyed me. Norwich lost though. So we do make a little bit of gap. We do close the gap a bit on them. We don't make ground. Because we're not ahead of them. Meal on form for Charlton, right? So the table now that's put us three points behind Norwich, so we could still catch them. Uh, Forest are now four behind us, Burnley four as well, uh, Peterborough seven, Stoke eight, Ipswich eight. So yeah, let's look at the schedule, see what's coming up. Uh, Coventry at home in the cup, Bolton away, Blackburn at home, Hull away, Watford away. So I think we'll probably play Watford away. No, no, we haven't had a lot of home games. So I'll, I'll play the home game against Brighton. Unless we have a cup game before them, then I'll play Watford. Unless, uh, well, yeah. I think that's what we'll do. If we get to a, um, yeah. I think it's probably going to be Brighton, but we'll probably end up playing an FA Cup game before then. If so, then we'll play Watford. Um, so, yeah. That's going to do, do it for today. Again, we failed to win. So that is one, two, three... Um, four, five, five live commentaries without a win against Ch uh, with Charlton, which is annoying. I don't have a lot of luck with them actually. Um, I don't think I'll be making any more January signings because we just don't have the money to. But unless people start buying our players, which I hope they don't. Then yeah, that'll be the end of any transfer activity. Unless we can maybe get some players on loan without paying any wages, but we don't really need anyone, I don't think. Um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I'm going to end this off here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.